You are looking at a legal video sneaked out of North Korea. Welcome back, Charlie here. North Korea is the most brutal and secretive country on the planet. The whole country is isolated and there's no access to outside internet. But today you will see some rare videos that have been secretly filmed inside North Korea. From surveillance footage of interrogations and trials by Kim's secret police, to scary TikTok videos filmed inside the DPRK. First, we have to look at this dramatic and heartbreaking video. These four adults and one toddler try to escape North Korea. The young girl is only two years old. They decided to try and escape by going into a Japanese consulate. If they made it through the gate, they would be on Japanese soil and finally escape the hell that is North Korea. Watch what happens as they try to escape. As you can see, the three men make it through, but sadly, the woman and her child do not make it. They're stopped by police and dragged back into North Korea. In the heartbreaking video, the woman and her daughter are crying and screaming. That's because they know that when they're back in North Korea, they will be put in prison, likely inside one of North Korea's infamous labor camps. The penalty for trying to escape North Korea is life in prison. That's terrible for this woman, but even worse for this child. It means this two-year-old girl may spend the rest of her life in prison. The men must also feel very guilty for leaving this woman and her child behind. But sadly, the woman and this girl may not be alive today. According to one expert, these two people face, quote, certain execution. The footage is absolutely heartbreaking, but it's even more scary when you think about what might have happened to this woman and her child. You may be saying, but Charlie, surely North Korea would not send children to prison camps. Well, if you say that, then I challenge you to watch this next video. In 2016, a human rights group leaked this footage from North Korea. It seems to show a child chain gang working on a railway. Many believe these are Kim Jong-un's child slaves. As you can see, they load heavy rocks onto machinery and mend railway tracks with hammers. It's said they are forced to do this work for 10 hours a day in the hot sun all while Kim Jong-un enjoys his life of luxury. The European Alliance of Human Rights called the footage startling and said it's one of the worst abuses the North Korean government inflicts. That is child labor. The footage was filmed using a secret camera. The children are only eight to nine years old. And as you can see, they're very skinny and have clearly not been fed or looked after well. It's safe to say they really live a miserable existence. While most kids are studying or playing, in North Korea, they are being used as slaves. One activist even said that if these kids don't do enough work, they end up in prison or worse, get beaten by guards. Moving on, let's look at what happens if you break one of North Korea's many insane rules. What I'm about to show you is some leaked footage from a North Korean interrogation room. This woman tried to escape North Korea and go into China, but she was captured by North Korean guards. The interrogation is so bad, I can't even show you most of it in this video. But you can see just how terrified this woman is. It's safe to say prisoners in North Korea have absolutely no rights. In another interrogation, a man has his arms tied behind his back. He's also blindfolded in a small room. Inside the room is one North Korean guard who yells at him. The only thing decorating the room are portraits of former North Korean leaders. Unsurprisingly, the man is absolutely terrified. Another leaked interrogation from North Korea shows a woman being interviewed by two guards. This young woman tried to escape North Korea to go to China, but she was arrested while trying to escape. At one point, the guards even threatened this woman's life. <laughs> Humanitarian groups say this woman likely faced execution. It really makes you think how someone can be so evil and heartless. Of course, this is very rare footage leaked to a humanitarian organization. But this is happening every day in North Korea. 
We don't think about it because we don't see it, but hopefully this video is a reminder of just how brutal North Korea really is. But now we have to look at what happens in a trial. It's safe to say North Korea does not have a good justice system at all. In fact, they still have public trials. These public trials not only humiliate the supposed criminal, but they also scare everyone else into complying with the government. The public trial was secretly filmed by one very brave person. You may be wondering, what did this criminal actually do? Their crime was a quote, anti-communist act. But the actual crime was that they watched four South Korean movies and gave them to some of their friends. <laughs> That's right, for watching South Korean movies, these people ended up on trial and went to prison. The North Korean government is so scared of their population getting information. They want to keep all of their citizens ignorant of the outside world, and if they see foreign movies, this may interfere with the North Korean government brainwashing. Just imagine being held in a public trial all because you watched a movie. The footage was shared to an activist named Sherry. She escaped North Korea and defected many years ago. According to her, trials like this are commonplace, and the people who watched these movies likely ended up in a North Korean prison camp. Speaking of North Korean propaganda, let's look at one very scary place you're not allowed to go to in North Korea. The main hotel in North Korea is the Yanggakdo International Hotel. This is where many foreign tourists will stay if they visit North Korea. But there is one floor that's missing from the elevator. That is the fifth floor. Many tourists actually try to go to this secret floor. The floor is for staff only, and unlike the rest of the hotel has many propaganda posters for the staff. It also has the hotel's surveillance center. This is where they can look at all of the cameras around the hotel and listen to the secret microphones hidden in every hotel room. In 2016, an American tourist named Otto Warmbier went to this hotel. He snuck into the fifth floor and took a propaganda poster. And because of this, he was arrested and sent to a North Korean prison. One and a half years later, Otto passed away. I covered the full story in a previous video if you want to check that out. But for now, I will show you some secret videos of the fifth floor. As you can see, there are propaganda posters praising the Kim regime and one tourist even took a peek inside their surveillance room. Now let's look at what actually happens inside a real North Korean prison camp. This video shows the true horrors of North Korean prison. In North Korea, if you commit a crime, your entire family goes to prison with you. That's why there are many families and children in this video. Everyone in the prison camp looks very hungry. One video shows workers loading bags with food onto a truck, all while a starving child is sitting by the road. The food is not for the people in the prison, instead it's food they've farmed. That food is then taken to the North Korean elites in Pyongyang. The prisoners are seen working, digging in frozen soil and prisoners being forced to march and pick up stones. Inmates also have to carry wooden logs. But what's life like for North Koreans who aren't in prison? For example, a normal farm worker in rural North Korea. This is an interview with a 23-year-old homeless woman. She works on a farm all day but still can't afford a place to live. She has to sleep outside every night and says that she eats nothing. At one point in the video, police come and harass farm workers. Some of these citizens even argue with the police. It seems North Korean civilians are harassed at every opportunity. One of the worst things about these videos is there's almost nothing we can do to help. In many poor countries, you can donate to charity to help people out. But North Korea has no charities which aren't owned by the government. This means any money donated would go to one of two things. Either funding Kim Jong-un's luxurious lifestyle, or funding North Korea's nuclear missile program. Finally, let's look at some very creepy TikToks posted by North Korea. 
That's right, North Korea have their own TikTok propaganda account. Even though TikTok is banned for normal citizens of the country, certain government officials do have access. The videos seem to show daily North Korean life. But of course, this is cherry-picked to only show good things. They ignore all of the people who are starving and the people in prison camps. Some of the videos even show people who look very scared, almost as if they're being forced to participate in these TikToks. It's very scary how this propaganda might work on some people using TikTok. They may not realize this TikTok account is owned by the North Korean government. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Leave a comment below which video was the most shocking. If you want to see some of my short videos, check out my second channel. I've been Charlie, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.